Alright, what is up? As you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be a special tutorial. Hopefully it's going to help you build a foundation to start working on so you can build yourself a masterful top tier Spencer. Um, the basic game plan here that I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through any special properties with normals, there's not much. I'm going to go through all of the specials very quickly, just show you how they work, how to do them, um, their properties and whatnot, etc. Same thing with his hypers, same thing with his assists, and then I will go through, get to the meat of everything, which is kind of some general tips on what to do and what not to do, uh, some assists you would want, you know, like team building around Spencer, that kind of thing, and hopefully, again, it'll help you uh, get started picking up this character and using him. Um, first things first, there's only so, don't expect this to just like suddenly all make everything click. And like you're gonna be a masterful Spencer after you watch this. Number one, I'm not even a masterful Spencer. I'm just pretty. I'm just pretty good, and I know how to use the character, and I know his game plan. Um, you you need to go out and get experience. That's just plain and simple. That's all you can do is just work on getting experience. Um, so without further ado, let's get going. His normals first special property. You can mash his standing jab. In general, you'll usually hit about four times. As you can see, like, the fourth one just barely hit Wolverine. Um, characters with smaller hitboxes will only get hit by three. Some characters, like Amaterasu, will just duck completely. I don't care. Um, but in general, you'll get four, and you can confirm it into a full combo if you so desire. But that's something you're going to want to test out with your combo of choice. Like, for instance, if you want to go through just, like, the basic corner relaunch, you know, the aerial combo, magic series, and the bionic bomber into relaunch. That won't work if you do four, but for some reason it will if you do three. Just that extra one causes that much more hits on deterioration for whatever reason. Just something to keep in mind. You want to test it so you can figure out which combos work with it and which don't. It is a semi-decent anti-air. Not amazing. It's not Magneto level, but it is decent. Something you're just going to have to like test out against certain players. that like you know If they're tri-dashing around without covering it all, just kind of doing it. It's good against stuff like that, that kind of thing. Uh, but there are, I mean, like, if you want to use it against zero, not going to work out too well for you. So it just depends. You just got to get that experience. Um, his standing heavy moves him forward a little bit when he does it. As you can see, kind of on the ground, you get that little... You get that little cloud. He's just... He's putting his foot so hard into the ground that he's actually breaking shit and moving forward. That is important to note. Because you want to be using his standing heavy when you're going for those corner relaunches into grapples to make sure they hit. Like for, I mean, for Wolverine, unfortunately, Wolverine, I actually picked him for a reason. That's going to miss no matter what. But you want to be using that standing heavy so you get that forward momentum to make sure that the grapple will hit when otherwise it might miss. So that forward momentum, very important to note. Uh, his, uh, the only other special of note is his command special, forward heavy. That is an overhead, meaning they will have to block it high. Uh pretty basic part of Spencer's mix-up is you know is he gonna go high or is he gonna go low um one thing to note a lot of players are too scared to do it I'm not sure why uh but it is possible to punish that overhead with a throw as you can see because of his forward momentum again he ends up right next to somebody you can throw them at it you can throw them if you block it successfully so that's something you want I mean number one you want to test are they able to block this because if not then just go nuts with it but the second thing you want to know is do they keep blocking or are they going to put, do they know how to punish you? Because if they know how to punish you, you don't want to be throwing that out too often. However, you can cover it with an assist like that. So then number one, you can combo off of it as I just did. Or if they block it, then it's safe. So just, you know, stuff to keep in mind. So those are his special, those are his normals with special properties. Oh, I should actually mention real quick. Uh, you cannot follow it up. As you saw, I followed it up with an assist. That's one way to follow it up. Pretty much everything that, like, isn't technically able to follow up with, like, special cancelable or another normal or whatever, you can follow up with an assist. So just, you know, keep that in mind. However, outside of an assist or outside of X-Factor, the only way to combo off of this is to link... I didn't even link it. I really didn't link it again. Am I, am I really that bad? I'm, I'm that bad. There we go. I linked it that time. That's the only way to follow it up. And as you can see, it is a link. It's not like most other things in this game where you can just, you know, mash buttons and go nuts and it combos. You have to link it. As you can see, when I'm just trying to mash it out, it doesn't come out. Um, so that's timing you're going to have to learn because, like I said, it's overhead, pretty integral part, integral part. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. 
uh, of his game plan. So you want to be able to follow it up. So there's normals. Now it's specials. First, let's go into his zip lines. As you can see, they have a little bit of a hitbox, not big. Like you're not gonna be able to follow that up. Uh, you can follow like this up. I'm mashing it because I'm terrible at following it up and I miss it a lot. But you can follow it up into a combo if you do it like that. But if they're just standing, you won't be able to follow it up. You can follow up the zip lines like in the air. They do actually combo in the air. So that's good if you're like just a tiny bit away from a corner and you want to push them all the way. Oops, jeez. And you are not terrible. Just barely missed. I was that was that close. I was that close. But normally that would combo and you would get a relaunch off of it. Or not a relaunch, you'd get an LTG off of it. So just something to keep in mind. He can go six different directions. As you can see, there's a straight back, the straight forward, which we've seen a lot. You have the okay. This is the hard part. You have the up back, there we go. The up forward, and the straight up. Now, something to note is that when you use these, you can still call an assist during them. So, like, if you do the straight up one, as you can see, you didn't really see Wolverine come in. So, that can be a good way to catch somebody by surprise to do that. And then you come down, you know, you might you might catch them, you might not. It's just it's basically just a trick. It's a shenanigan. So, if somebody's aware of it and they see it, then they'll, you know, it's just something you will kind of catch somebody with once and then you probably won't catch them with it again. But might as well try it out and see whether or not it hits them. Because if you get a hit, you get a combo. And usually with Spencer, if you get a combo, they dead. Um, as you saw, the one thing I did fuck up a few times. You have to be very fast with that to do it. Because if you take just like the barest amount too long, he'll jump. And then when you're in the air, as you can see, it doesn't matter if you're holding up back, up forward, or straight up. He does the same grapple. So that's just something to keep in mind if you do manage it, that is still like it's not a disaster if he gets that one because as you saw it is kind of like a very 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 ghetto try dash but it's not terrible you know you can get stuff off of it um it's the same thing in the air basically you can go back you can go forward you can go down same basic thing and they all have hit boxes uh it's a good way to maintain pressure and as you, as you saw me do before, it's a good way to, if you're in the middle of the screen, to get corner position. Because Spencer, with corner pressure, is a far better character than Spencer in the mid-screen game. Um, so getting into that corner is very good. So learn to use those zip lines properly to maintain pressure, depending upon where you are. Um, keep in mind, though, they are, like, if you do the straightforward one, that one is unsafe. This one is not terribly unsafe, but if they have, like, a really fast normal, they might just beat your normal coming in. Um, so again, something you're just going to have to learn with experience, whether you can use those zip lines or not. So now his grapples. He has three grapples, depending upon what, well, he has three on the ground and three in the air. Um, on the ground, you can hit either light, medium, or heavy to get a different follow-up. In the air, it's just, it's automatic, as you'll see. It's just automatic. He just does it. This one, as you can see, he won't do it if you don't hit a button. So, as you saw, the light one, straight forward, medium one, up forward, straight up. Just situational, which one you want to use, and again, you'll want to test those situations. Just to, to give an example, like if you have a Doom super jumping and using uh, finger lasers, that's good to catch him. If you have somebody using a character like Nova, where a lot of people will just jump straight up and do a forward dash, that's very good to catch Nova. Uh, if somebody's trying to zone you and they're not like being particularly good about it, that's a good way to catch them on the ground. Um, so now his foot, well, and then you have the same basic trajectories in the air, light, medium, and heavy. Just, you know, pretty much opposite. So now you have his follow-ups, the light follow-up. That's the one you're going to be using the most. It's very good for combos. As you can see, it does a hard knockdown, and if you just catch a random one, that's the one you're pretty much going to want to do all the time because it's very easy to follow up, etc., etc. Then you have the medium one, which just don't ever use it. I've never actually seen anybody use the medium follow-up. Don't use it. It uses up a wall bounce. You're going to sacrifice damage if you use it. Just don't do it. Then you have the heavy one, which just drags them to them. It's not actually a hit. That is good. Actually, I can't do it on Wolverine. That is good, for instance, let's say you catch them in a grab. You get a grab. You get a combo. You're not going to kill them. That is potentially good as a reset. You know, you might get a command grab, or you might go low. You might, you know, whatever. You do something... It's good for a reset in order to get the rest of the damage to kill a character. Um, so that's just something to note. But again, as mentioned, in general, you're pretty much only going to be using the light follow-up. Because the light follow-up is does a lot of damage. Um, there are people that build teams around get maximizing the amount of those grapples that you can get in one combo. In order to um, 
because no matter what, it'll do at least 80,000 damage. No matter what. So that's a huge amount of damage when you get like five or six of those in one combo. Uh, so those are his grapples. Oh, actually I didn't mention. His medium and heavy ones in the air are OTG. Well, you actually saw it. They're OTGs. They'll catch people off the ground. Again, it uses a wall bounce, so you can't use two of them in the same combo. Well, you can use two of them in the same combo, but you won't be able to follow up the second one. However, the second one can be used to maybe potentially get a reset. Um, again, it's kind of just something that'll work on people that aren't experienced with it and aren't looking for it. If they are looking for it, you probably won't catch them. Um, but still, it's a potential reset, something to keep in mind. Then you have his command grabs, which are sure you can motions. His light version, oops, that's not it. His light version, his medium version, and then his heavy version, which you will see will whiff in a moment. That's because that is an anti-air. It'll catch people out of the air. They all do the same amount of damage. You can get the same combos off them. The only difference is his light version is the fastest. Well, actually, his light and his heavy are both the same speed, same startup, but just for different situations. His medium one is slightly slower than his light version, but it has more range. But they all do the same damage. They're all followed up the same way. As you saw, you can juggle it. Alternatively, it's also a hard knockdown, so you can follow it up with a grapple if you, you, know, if you miss the standing jab for whatever reason. Um, you can still follow it up with that grapple. So just something to keep in mind. Those are the command grabs. Now you have Armor Piercer and Bionic Bomber, both of which you do with Course of a Fort S. As you can see, that's very, very fast. But for some reason, it's distance related. Like, as you can see, when you're this far away from the character, it doesn't have as fast startup. I don't know why, but that's, that's just how it is. Then you have Bionic Bomber, which is in the air, same motion. Which, again, it causes a ground bounce, so, like, you can't do two of them. Well, I actually missed that one. So you can't do two of them in the same combo. As you can see, I got the 11th hit, but it didn't combo. That is something, again, potentially against somebody inexperienced. You might be able to catch them because, as you can saw, he stood up very fast, and Spencer recovers very fast. So you could catch some of the pretty dirty command grabs set up after that. But again, if they've seen it before, they probably won't get caught. Um, so let me try and... Oh, Armor Piercer, I should mention. As you saw before, that's very fast. It comes out in one frame when they're that close. So it is very good for like an X-Factor cancel. Well, not when, not when you cancel at the wrong time. <laughs> not when you do the motion wrong. I didn't even do the motion wrong. The motion was correct. Obviously, I did do it wrong, though. These didn't come out. Wow. See, there you saw. See, I got, put, got pushed back a little bit, so it didn't have the same startup. Something you want to be careful of. It's easiest to show off in the corner. I'm sorry. I should be more professional than this. Really? I'm, I'm, like, I'm really that bad? Oh my god, alright, so screw Wolverine. This dude is killing me here. Comes out one frame. Very fast. <laughs> now that took me like two minutes to do. Very fast, very good X-Factor cancel to catch somebody by surprise. Because obviously one frame things out of an X-Factor cancel are very good. Um, but it, unfortunately it's unsafe and it's only hyper cancelable, which only leads to more unsafe things. So that's the, pretty much the only downside to it, but again, if you want to x to cancel somebody's move, it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, so that's, that's Armor Piercer. So, let's go into his hypers. We have the famous one, Bionic Arm. Invincible startup, so you can use it to get through stuff if you want to catch an assist or whatever. However, it's also very unsafe. So if they, if they block it, you either need to save DHC on your team, or you need to X Factor cancel. So it's it's a risk and you gotta be careful with it. Um, still a very good move to catch somebody by surprise, make some you know, make somebody respect it if you're if you're playing against them. Then you have bionic maneuvers, which is this quarter circle forward. Hyper. It's basically this is the one you mostly want to use in combos because it does more damage. Two things to note, that OTG, you get a little bit more time after a bionic arm to get that kind of OTG than you do after bionic maneuvers. Um, like bionic maneuvers, you pretty much need to immediately go into a tiger knee move. Bionic arm, not so much. You get a little bit of extra time behind it. Um, but bionic maneuvers obviously does more damage. Bionic arm is basically just, if you want to get it done, like if somebody's close to dead and you're an X-Factor, you want to use bionic arm so you don't waste the X-Factor time, that kind of thing. But in general, you'd want to use bionic maneuvers in the middle of combos because it does more damage. Um, so there was hypers. Now his assist, it, well, honestly, his assists don't matter. They're basically, they're almost all, um, 
combo extenders. Like, his alpha assist is a hard knockdown. So if you, like, for instance, Knives use that on, uses that on his team for Sentinel. So that, you know, you can do a Sentinel rocket punch and dispenser's assist into another rocket punch into a hyper. Uh, then you have his beta assist, which is the one I actually have assigned right now. It'll just catch them and drag them to them. That is... That's the only one that, out, that isn't really, like, necessarily a combo extender. You can catch people that are air dashing and drag them to you, and, you know, you get a combo or whatever, etc. And then his other assist, his, his uh, armor pierce, is that move. But unfortunately, it's the one where it's far away, so it has startup. So outside of combos, you're probably going to get Spencer blown up if you try to use that outside of combos. Other assist, really not that important. So, Spencer as a character... Now the first thing that I want to advise you of is to please do not zip line around like an asshole. His zip lines are very unsafe, very possible to punish. Um, let me actually. It's very like to air that, just to grab like that. It's very easy to do it if you don't cover it with an assist. So get used to maneuvering around, at least with his diagonal ones, because those are uh, safe. But like his straightforward ones, they are not safe at all. Um, so just please don't just be the person that's like, oh, this is my way of getting in. And then you're going to get air thrown nonstop by anybody of, like that's even slightly decent. So be careful with it. Cover it with an assist. Um, that's the other thing that I want. Assists for Spencer. You basically want something that will allow him to get in. In general, that's a projectile assist. Something like Taskmaster's arrows, Hawkeye's arrows, uh, EM disruptors. Something that will lock them down and allow you to move in. Or something that will lock them down while you're in the middle of a block stream so that you can continue into either... You know, so that you can continue into mix up. Like, say they block that, okay, you call an assist and you dash in and go low again because they're expecting overhead. Or they're not expecting overhead, they're, they're expecting the low. And so you go over it, you know, etc. Something that locks them down and lets you run mix-up. That's very important. Um, another thing a lot of people like to use are OTG assists. So that, like, for instance, people use Wesker's uh, OTG gunshot a lot. So they get another relaunch into the grapple. Of course, ideally, the grapple would hit. Um, or, like, they use Doom's... Um, for instance, if you, ha if you want to use Doom on your team... If you want to be very unoriginal, if you want to use Doom on your team and hidden missiles, that covers both things. It covers lockdown, uh, so you can run mix-up on somebody, and it'll also be a combo center. If they're in the corner, you can get multiple grapples off of uh, hidden missiles. So, just some something similar to that. You either want something for combo extender to get more grapples in, an, uh, in a combo, and you want somebody that will allow Spencer to get in better, because on his own, Spencer has decent pressure, but it's not great. You have to put a lot of work in with Spencer alone. It's much easier with an assist that, uh, for with with some kind of lockdown assist. So that's something you want to think about is a lockdown assist. Um, other than that, it's mostly just like it's just movement. You just gotta get used to Spencer's movement. Wave dashing is very important to Spencer. You know, coming in and then you know going for like grappling in, going for command grabs, that kind of. It's just. Spencer is one of those characters where you can either be thoroughly average with him with just like with just regular movement or if you master the usage of his grapples uh not his grapples if you master the usage of his zip lines combined with his uh combined with just everything else using the assist properly you can just get ridiculous amounts of pressure make people guess a lot as to which way you're going it's just, Spencer is not a complicated character to talk about, to, like, give you tips on. But getting down that movement that I'm talking about, to properly use his zip lines, to apply pressure and to keep, um, to stay in somebody. To stay in on somebody, not in somebody. <laughs> Good choice of words, dog. To stay in on somebody, to keep maintaining the pressure. It requires a lot of work, it requires a lot of experience to know which options to use when, you know, when you want to land and wave dash, when you want to use a zip line, when you want to call an assist to continue your pressure. All of that shit requires so much work. But it will be, it, that is basically the difference between 
an average Spencer and a great Spencer. That's why somebody like Combo Fiend, why his Spencer is so known, because his pressure and his movement with Spencer is just so amazing. And then you have someone like, for instance, I would put myself in the average category. I have not mastered this dude's zip lines. You know, utilizing all of them to their maximum potential. I have not mastered, you know, when somebody advance guards to wave dash back in or to use a grapple to get back in immediately. I haven't gotten that reaction down. I haven't done that myself. But those are all things that when you get them down, your Spencer will just be on that completely other level that turns him into like just this incredibly dangerous scary character otherwise Spencer without that movement Spencer's just not that scary he's not that frightening of a character so just if you get down that movement practice it play against people like try to find very defensive players that use advanced guard a lot and get used to reacting to that advanced guard so you know like okay watch let me try to Actually, one way, what am I doing? One way to test it out is to do, oh, nope, nope, random, is to do this. So that they do it randomly. Or they'll do it practically all the damn time. So then that's a way to test. That's something you want to do. So that, like, you see them, in, see, like, they didn't advance guard there. That would have been a horrible time for me to grapple. And that would have been a good time for me to grapple or wave dash back in. See, that's something that's like, obviously, I'm not very good at it. But that's some, that's an option for you to do. So you can react to that advanced guard to get back in on somebody, to like, to call an assist, to get back in, whatever, etc., etc., etc. That is something that you need to learn, you need to get used to. Um, but for instance, like, Oh, I fucked it up. But, like, getting used to that incoming mix-up, where if you hit that falling heavy around, like, that level, and if they advance guard it, then you would want to dash in and do the, and do the uh, anti-air command grab. Alternatively, you could just fuck up non-stop and hope that they don't block it. <laughs> and get that anti-air command grab. It's a free command grab if they advance guard that incoming, that incoming uh, falling H. And then if they don't, then you get free mix-up because they're stuck in block stun. That's something that you just, you, that's a, an aspect of Spencer you need to learn. You need to be able to recognize what an opponent is doing, if they're advanced guarding or not. So, um, again, I mean, like, that's really the biggest tip I can give you. Like, his combos are pretty damn simple overall. Um, they're not very difficult. They just require a lot of tiger knee. And that's the only thing you need to work on is just tiger knee moves like that. That's really all you need to, oops. That's like the biggest thing you need to work on, is just tiger knee move. And once you get down to tiger knee of moves, his combos are just the simplest things in the world. And after that, it's just a matter of like no having the muscle memory for them. The only thing you really need to work on to get a great Spencer is his movement. So like I said, like go to training mode, do what I did, turn on all guard, turn advancing guard on to random, and then try to react to it. Get used to that. Play against people. And like honestly, like Pay attention to their button presses. Because if you hear that sound, that's pretty obvious they're about to advance guard. And it's probably easier to react to the sound than it is to react to what's on the screen. So that's something you want to get used to. Like, just get and figure out some way to neutralize your opponent's advance guard. Or at the very least, minimalize how good it is. Um, and that way, your Spencer will go again from being average to being amazing and being very dangerous and scary and frightening the shit out of people. And that's really like the biggest, that's the biggest piece of advice I can give you is just learn when to use the zip lines, when to call assists, when to go low, when to go high, etc, etc. Um, one thing to note, I said before, this is why I picked Wolverine. One of Spencer, well, probably Spencer's like main combo kind of deals is this kind of thing doing this into the into fucking up because your timing is horribly off because you haven't played this game in five years doing this kind of thing oh my god I screwed up but doing that kind of thing into his upward grapples very important however there are some characters that it will not work on Wolverine is one of those characters I did the completely wrong move anyway I apologize profusely for my scrubbiness as you see it whips 
Characters like Wolverine, Zero, Beautiful Joe, I believe Am I'm actually not sure if it'll whiff on Amaterasu, because Amaterasu has kind of a wide hitbox. Like, she is a small character, but still a wide horizontal hitbox. So it might actually hit Amaterasu, I'm not sure. But again, that's something you'll want to test. It's something you'll want to figure out which characters, so you don't just immediately go into it and then you whiff entirely. Because this, this move is very, as you see, he's standing there and he's wide open for a very long time. It's very punishable. You do not want to whiff that. Um, so something that you'll want to learn. That's pretty much other than that. I mean, everything else is just play and learn and get experience and become amazing and learn his damn movement so you're not terrible like me. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, one thing to note with Spencer, and I just tried to do it, a lot, so many people, so many people, once you catch somebody in a block string, will immediately start blocking high because they're always expecting you to do something like that. So if you do that same thing and then you just delay it a little bit and then you go into that, it's pr like, it'll hit a lot of people. Make sure you utilize that as part of your mix-up so you make people guess. Don't just, you know, go into that all the time so that they can just easily start blocking high every single time. And they're going to overhead them every single time. Be careful about that. Uh, make, I mean, like I said, make them guess. That's the biggest thing you have to do is use that movement. Use different, you know, don't just continually follow the same muscle. I mean, that's kind of like the same advice you would give for every single character to not just do the same thing over and over. But a lot of people that play Spencer that I've seen do the same thing over and over. So mix it up and get hits and figure out your movement and become amazing.